Hello booktube, Sarah here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my March 2018 new and used book haul. Um, so earlier this month I did a Harlequin used book haul and since then I've bought some more used books. Um, and I was going to separate these and then I realized that that is one of my personal pet peeves. If you do this, please don't think, take any offense to it. It's just something that kind of gets me sometimes is that people do book hauls but then they'll do like a separate Kindle haul or something like that. Now I can understand if you go to a library book sale and you buy a ton of stuff and you just want to show that stuff. Um, you know, that makes sense to do one single video for that. But you know, I see sometimes people be like, oh my spring, you know, uh, Kindle book haul. Um, book is a book, whether it's audio or paperback or hardcover or Kindle or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to start amalgamating my book hauls. If I buy physical books, if I buy, well, my physical books are always used. I try, well, I shouldn't say that. I do have some new physical books that I bought um, that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. But I'm just going to start amalgamating everything together just to make it easier. Um, so I'm going to go through all these books. I have a bunch of them to talk about. I do not know a lot about all of them. So I do apologize for that. As you guys know, I'm a big sale buyer. And, um, you know, so that's why I picked these up. And a lot, and with the Harlequins, a lot of them, as much as I'm going to be reading them all, of course, I also buy them because I'm collecting, you know, the physical copies. So let's start off with the Kindle books and then I'll move on to the physical books. So the first book that I bought um, was Brooklyn Air by Serena Bowen. This is book number four in the Brooklyn Bruiser series. This is a series I read the first one of last year and I really, really enjoyed it. It was fantastic and I'm very much looking forward to this one and I believe it went on, did it go on sale? I don't think it went on sale. I think I paid full price, like $4.99 or something for it for Amazon or for the Kindle, which, you know, for me to pay full price for a Kindle is difficult. Um, I have to really like the book to want to do that. So, yeah, but I did pick this one up and I'm looking forward to it. And then I decided to use some of my Harlequin reward points and I bought myself some books. Um, I got um, Spicing It Up by Tanya Michaels. This is a Harlequin flip side novel. Um, this is a now um, defunct line and they are romantic comedies and I believe this is about a chef so it looked really cute and I decided to pick it up. Um, the next one is The Makeover Prescription by Christy Jeffries. Um, this is book number five in the Sugar Falls Idaho series um, and this is a, Harle um, yeah, a Harlequin special edition. I don't have this written down I'm doing it by memory so if I'm wrong I apologize. Um, but yeah, this one sounded really good. Um, I believe it's about a doctor and his relationship. Um, or I think she's the doctor, actually. I think that's the case. Um, and the last one I got, I cannot remember what line it is. You guys are going to see the picture of it right here. I bought these way at the beginning of the month. And when I start buying books, I start keeping a list for when I do my book hauls. So that way I don't have to do, um, all my show notes all at once. I've already got everything kind of already written down and figure out what I bought and when. Um, and that's Miss Prim and the Maverick Millionaire by, by Nina Singh. I'm pretty sure this is a desire. Let's see how right I am. I think, I don't know. So it will be up here. Um, but evidently this is about a woman who's very prim and a millionaire. So sounds like fun. Um, and the next one I bought is The Cafe by the Sea by Jenny Col Colgan. I've heard this author talked about quite a bit on booktube. She is, um, she writes Chicklet, and this is a book that I had caught my eye. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure it's about a woman who, after a breakup, um, kind of goes on a trip by herself, I think to Europe. I think it takes place somewhere in Europe. I want to say Paris, maybe? No, because that's not by the sea. I'm not exactly sure where it takes place, to be honest. Sorry, guys. But it was on sale, and I picked it up, because I think the retail price of this for Kindle was something like 12 or $13. And it went on sale, I think, for $1.99. So I immediately went and picked it up. I also bought myself another um, box set from Harlequin, which is the Harlequin Historical September 2016 box set, two of two. And I got um, The Warrior's Captive Bride by Jenna Kieran, um, The Reluctant Vis Viscount, excuse me, I always want to say Viscount, Viscount, by Laura Temple, and Taming the Temptuous Tutor by Juliet London. So I believe um, the first book might be Medieval, and then the second one is obviously Regency, and then the third one I believe is, well obviously, takes place in the Tudor period. So that should be really interesting. I haven't read any Tudor books, uh, not that I'm aware of anyway. 
And then I picked up a couple other books that went on sale, and one of them is The Dollhouse by Fiona Davis. Um, this is a historical fiction novel, and it is about um, a boarding house, essentially, in New York City for women who are working in the city as, like, secretaries and things like that, and pretty much their day-to-day -day lives. I believe it takes place, I want to say the 1950s, but I could be wrong. Um, but it looked really good, and I had it on my wish list on Amazon, and it dropped in price, so I went ahead and picked it up. The next one, I saw one of my friends on Goodreads. I have a lot of friends on Goodreads, so please friend me. If you friend me on Goodreads, I will automatically friend you back, because I like to see what everybody else is reading. And I love going through my feed to see what everybody's reading, or has marked as to be read, or what have you. And, um, I saw this on somebody else's, and the cover looked really cute. It's called Beginner's Luck by Kate Claiborne, and I believe this has something to do with a lottery win and a group of friends, and I think it was like 99 cents, so I immediately went ahead and picked it up. And the last of my ebooks is To, I just love the title of this book, guys, To Scott to Handle by Grace Burroughs. This is a um, historical romance, um, a Highlander romance, I'm assuming, from the word Scott, as in Scottish. And um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to this one. Again, it's one that I saw drop in price, it looked really cute, so I immediately went ahead and picked it up. So, let's jump in now to all of the used books that I bought. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Um, new and used physical book haul, part or physical books of this haul, excuse me. So, I found very exciting a new to me used bookstore not far from me. Um, it's in one of the suburbs, just it's in the same town that my parents live in, and it's literally down the street from them. Um, and I didn't know about the shop, but I was kind of Google searching, you know, used bookshops in the area and this one came up and I didn't realize that, you know, it was what it was. Well, essentially the shop, this, this is the most awesome used bookshop ever. Um, the most expensive book in there is $3 and some of them are as cheap as 25 cents. Um, so from 25 cents to $3, excuse me, I need a sip of a drink. The shop itself is um, completely for charity. It's a complete charity shop. Um, you can bring books into them to donate. You do not get any store credit. Everything is donation only. All the proceeds that they make go to a charity, and I'm not sure what it is. It might be something to do with... Um, I, I, I honestly, I don't even want to speculate because I cannot remember, but it's on their website. Um, and the people who work there don't actually get paid. They're all volunteers. So the people who work at the store are all volunteers. And when I went in and I found some books and I went to pay, I like immediately pulled out my debit card to pay like I do everywhere else. And the guy's like, no, we take cash only. And you know, it was really, really awesome. And I really loved it. And I will definitely, definitely be going back there. And even though it's, um, it's like this like charity kind of shop, um, they, um, everything is so organized so well and, but stuff is just stacked to the ceiling. You know, there's a whole room with just boxes of books. I imagine it's what Steve Donahue's house would look like, <laughs> but it was great. And these two older gentlemen were there and they were so knowledgeable and so great. And I'm like, do you guys take books? And they're like, oh yes, we will take books. So, you know, I figure I've got a couple boxes of books. I'm just going to take them in and donate them and you know, what have you. So I found some Harlequins. So again, I don't know a lot about all of these, but um, I'll just show them to you anyway. So the first one is called And Justice for All by Linda Style. This is a cold case LA book. It is a Harlequin super romance novel. Uh, the next one, this one is in pretty much brand new condition. It is Lying in Your Arms by Leslie Kelly. This is a book in the Forbidden Fantasy series, and this is a Harlequin blaze. I love these ones so much. Um, the next one is a Harlequin romance. Except for the spine, it's in really good condition. And it's Rescued by the Millionaire by Cara Coulter. So that one looks really cute. And then I got um, No Ordinary Hero by Rachel Lee. This is a Connor County novel, The Next Generation. He looks very intense, doesn't he? This is a silhouette romantic suspense novel. And last but not least, um, the cover of this one really stood out at me. Another Harlequin super romance, excuse me, it's called Calling the Shots by Ellen Hartman. That one looks really good. And this is part of the You, Me, and the Kids series. But this is one of those series that you do not have to read in order. It just so happens these are all books that have, um, you know, like a single parent kind of aspect to it. So yeah, so it looks really cute. I believe this is something about hockey. That she's a hockey mom and he's the coach. So sounds really cute. Um, be a great winter read, I think. So that's those ones.
The next place that I went was to my library because I actually had to pick up a book that I had on hold. Um, it was an actual physical book I had on hold. I know, weird, but it is a nonfiction book. It's, um, uh, you can go ahead and giggle. It's a uh, yoga for dummies. Um, but I like looking at those to, um, uh, to get ideas and I do scan some of the pages and stuff like that. But anyway, they, it's my library, my branch is very, very tiny. And, um, the great thing about the Toronto Public Library System is that I can put a book on hold online and no matter where it is in the system, they will have it delivered to my local library. Now, if you don't pick up that book, you get charged a dollar for, you have a week to pick it up. And if you don't pick it up within that week, you get charged a dollar because of course it's costing them to deliver that book to your local branch. But anyway, they have this little cart in the front that they have like for sale stuff. And the Harlequin books are all only 25 cents each. So I spent a whole dollar and I bought four of them. So these all have the library sticker on them, which is a little disappointing, but for 25 cents, I'm not going to snub my nose at it. The book is still perfectly, uh, you know, able to read. So the first one is another Rachel Lee book, um, another Connor County Next Generation book, and this is The Final Mission. So that one looks really, really good. Kind of yellowed. You can see it's been sitting in a window or something. Um, the next one is a Desire novel, and this is The CEO Daddy Next Door by Karen Booth. Um, the romance sticker on it. And, you know, the library sticker on the back. But again, I really don't care. There might be a way to take these off, but it is what it is. They're ex-library copies. So what? Um, the next one is a love-inspired suspense novel, and this is Covert Justice by Lynn Huggins Blackburn. That will look really good. And the last one is another romantic suspense novel, and this is Cooper Lake Secrets, and this is by Marilyn Papineau. She writes some really, really great um, suspense novels. Highly recommend her. So yeah, looking forward to that one. So those are my library books. And then the husband and I went to Walmart yesterday to do our grocery shopping. And I always go look at the books, even though I'm always like, I'm not going to buy any because, like, clearly I can get these Harlequin books for 25 cents a piece. But I decided to treat myself because I haven't been feeling well, and they're three for $15 at Walmart for brand new Harlequins. And yeah, it, I mean, it's $5 each, but I thought, you know what, again, I'm treating myself. And these may or may not ever show up in a used bookstore. That's the thing with Harlequins is that, you know, you might see that book and unless you buy it as a Kindle edition, um, you know, once it's on the shelf for that month, it's gone. And, you know, those books are gone and unless you happen upon it at a used bookstore or you find it online, you're not going to find it again. So I actually picked up some of the books that I've been talking about in my Harlequin Anticipated Reads. So I thought maybe once a month I'll treat myself to three books, three brand new books. And there's just something about having brand new books, isn't there, guys? So the first one I got is actually one from March. Um, and this is Killer Secrets, again, by Marilyn Papineau, um, a Harlequin romantic suspense novel. I talked about this one in my March Anticipated Reads for Harlequin. This one, um, the main female character, her parents are serial killers. So that one sounded really good, so I decided to pick that one up. And then the next two are actually from the April Anticipated Reads that I just did. With Harlequin, they kind of space out when books are released. They will say on their website they're coming out on the first of the month, but sometimes they're released about a week or so early. So the first one I got was The Bachelor's Perfect Math Match Math Match by Katherine Springer. This is a love-inspired um, novel, and this one sounds really, really good, and I'm really looking forward to it. I just, something about these covers and something about a brand new book. I just absolutely love it. And the last brand new one was Desperate Strangers by Carla Cassidy. I was talking about this one that I was really excited about it, um, about a woman who has amnesia at the scene of an accident, and, you know, yeah, I thought, why not? So yeah, these look really great. And I just noticed, excuse me, I'm for reaching down here, but um, I didn't realize that they kind of have, if you look on the side, the intrigue, um, the little symbol, it looks like a thumbprint with the eye in it. That's really neat. I haven't seen any of the new ones, like, you know, ones that are, are brand new published. So yeah, so very much looking forward to those. And then yesterday, when I went out to grab dinner, I decided to stop at a, um, a thrift store called National Thrift here in the area. And they had some Harlequins, but I'm like, nah, you know, I, I didn't want to mess around with them. I, the store was getting ready to close, so I just was taking a quick look. And I found a book that was my find of the week. And I was so thrilled when I saw this. And I only paid $2.99 for it. Heather Graham on hardcover. One that I don't have at all. I don't think I have this on ebook. This is The Dead Room. Um, this is book number four in the Harrison Investigation series. But she is a collected author to me. So... You know, I will collect the Harlequin books, 
because they're small, they don't take up a lot of room on a shelf, and again, I am collecting them as much as I am reading them. Um, you know, if I don't buy any other books really except for those, um, I will be absolutely happy filling bookshelves with them, and that would make me absolutely happy. But, you know, again, she is such a favorite author of mine that when I saw this in hardcover for $3, I immediately went ahead and picked it up. I don't know if I'm ever actually going to physically read this copy of it. I may. Um, it might be kind of fun to listen to it on audio and follow along in the, in the book. I know a lot of people do that, but I decided to pick it up because, you know, why not? Um, again, with like, with like Lillian Jackson Braun, she's another collected author that I want to start getting the books on hardcover. As well as, um, you can't see them down here, but this one is the Diana Gabaldon, um, the Outlander series. Those ones I'm also getting on hardcover. So there's a few of them. So I will have a bookshelf of stuff like that. But the majority of my physical books eventually down the line are just going to be Harlequins. So yeah, very, very excited to pick that one up. So anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books and what you thought about them. Or have you had any great finds lately at thrift stores or on Kindle? Because I'd love to hear about that too. And until my next video, guys, take care and happy reading. Bye.